We work with pancreatic islets in uh, our research group. And uh, pancreatic islets pr have lots of hormone-containing cells uh, that produce uh, hormones to the circulation. So uh, primarily we're interested in insulin production. What we've tried to do is to identify what goes wrong. Why do certain persons become diabetic and whereas others uh, remain healthy? Uh, even though they may have similar lifestyle. And uh, this is uh, the main thing we're looking at. And we also look for reactions, things that happen in the cell uh, that make the cell deteriorate at a faster rate once we have diabetes, which is also a very important thing. Because we both want to prevent diabetes from occurring in the first place, but we also need to help the persons who have diabetes. The main thing is perhaps to take all we know about human genetics and uh, the clinical features of diabetes and to translate that into cellular mechanisms, reactions, something that we can do uh, something about and something that we can find uh, a new drug uh, for, to find new drug targets. Now, with that comes that we need to develop a lot of new techniques, but still the main challenge, I say, is always to think smart and to think things that others have not thought about before. That's always that's the main challenge. When we we identified the uh, an, uh, a receptor that binds adrenaline, being uh, an important player in uh, type two diabetes for for some diabetes uh, individuals with diabetes, not all, but for a, a very significant group. And that was a big, that was the first time we really made the effort to go all the way from molecular mechanisms up to clinical uh, phenotype and clinical uh, parameters, and also finding a potential cure for it. So that was a major breakthrough, at least for me personally. Right now, our focus for the next few years is to investigate the role of calcium in diabetes. Uh, thinking about calcium ions that are important for many cellular functions and calcium ion channels uh, to find out how do they contribute to the progression of the disease. That's where our main focus is right now. I find it a privilege to have a job where I don't know what to do. I have to find out. No one else can tell me what to do. And I have to make sense of all this uh, weird information that is around. That's a big driving force. And there are also these scientists who are very much uh, in favor of, they, they fall in love with a particular topic. I don't belong to those. Uh, for me, it's more about, there has to be some sort of application, something that makes good for the patients in the long run, if I should be interested.